All right, Kelsey, thanks so much. I'm hanging out with Jason Denant over here, digital producer, reporter. He does a little bit of everything, and we are talking about this week's trends and talkers. I love this segment, first of all. It's my favorite segment of the week. Uh, <laughs> well, so, I'm glad to be here with you. And yeah, we've set the bar high. <laughs> yes, we have. All right, now this week we've seen photos, videos. We've seen things that have made us cry. We've seen things that made, that made us laugh. Mm -hmm. And the first one... I think if I was Donny Osmond, I may want to cry in this situation. <laughs> he went to London. He was trying to have a good time. His flight was delayed. He, uh, when he got there, there was no room for him. And so he posted this picture. And if you look closely, it's actually raining on him as he's laying on this bench. Typical London weather, of course. <laughs> Did he not show up and just say, like, do you know who I am? I'm Donny Osmond. I need a room. That's what I said. I said, wait, did no one in London know who Donny Osmond was? And how did this poor guy get... We're going to have to call over to his hotel and see what's going on there. <laughs> now, now on to this something. This is great. This, oh my gosh. Okay. So this, this uh, child has cerebral palsy mm. and just said to his mom, Mom, I want a skateboard. That's all he wanted to do. That's all he wanted to do. So the mom said, I got you. Created this contraption and took her son for the ride of his life. She made that herself? Yes. Unbelievable. I said, you know, this has got to be mom of the year. Look at his face. Oh my gosh. He's so happy. Th th if anyone else wins Mom of the Year, uh, not that that's a real award, award, but she absolutely deserves it. The length that she went to, I mean, I feel like there's a lot of moms that would go through that, but they don't necessarily have to because their kid doesn't have cerebral palsy. Yeah, this, this was just amazing. So I'm glad that, that people share these type of videos. And if you have a video like this, please send it in to us. We'd, we'd love to see them as well. Yeah. Now this, okay, our next topic, this actually comes from my hometown of Syracuse, New York. <laughs> there is a bridge there. Now, this bridge, if you're a tractor trailer, you cannot drive under it. There's about 15 signs that say, uh -oh. do not drive under it. Uh -oh. Well, this gentleman, he, he tried to drive it. under it. Yeah. There's bridges all over upstate New York that look just like this. Yeah. <laughs> he oh. should, oh, he's got to know better. Now, they are saying that there may have been a language barrier, so the gentleman may okay. not have been able to, to understand the signs. Now, I have heard that the gentleman who took the video has been in hot trouble with the sheriff really? there because the sheriff says, now, you saw this gentleman driving towards the bridge, and instead of trying to get in front of him to stop him, yeah. you just recorded it to make a viral video. It so, sounds, I get it, I, but it sounds dangerous for him to try and pull in front of this truck and tell him, like, you're not going to make it. So Yeah, it does, too. So I don't, I don't know. I think we're going to post this onto our, our Facebook page and see what people said. Would, would you good. have stopped this truck, or would you have recorded the video as well? I don't know how many people are going to admit that they wouldn't have stopped the <laughs> truck, but I think if we're being honest, folks, uh, it's going to be a tough maneuver to try and tell this guy, listen, you're not going to make it underneath that bridge. My bad, I probably would have recorded too. <laughs> don't tell my mom. Just being be honest, honest right? <laughs> All right, let's yes. get to these ducks. All right, these ducks, if you guys are out there having a bad day, what better way than to relax by watching ducks climb up and take a water slide down? <laughs> I mean, this is kind of genius. I think this is from, from, a, from a farmer or some sort of, it kind of looks like it's inside of a barn. And um, yeah, if I was these ducks, I think I'm having a great time. This is one of the best inventions I've seen in a while. I actually need this in my neighborhood of Desert Shores. We have a major duck issue around uh, these little lakes that we have. So we kind of need a way to just get them in the same area and then keep them from um, doing <laughs> well, their duty is, all over the place. <laughs> this is definitely the way. So if, if you know how to make this, Hook up with, with Ross and, and I love make it. one for him. I love it. All right. Now, this, I actually got to cover this event this week, the Housekeeping Olympics. I've Who never knew that seen, was a thing? I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> and apparently, it's been going on for 30 years. This is incredible. Now, I don't know if she made that corner the best, but. <laughs> My mom would be disappointed. You got to tuck it in on the back and then get that, uh, that corner fold up. Everyone knows that. But I get it. They're going for speed here. I'm just jealous that you always get to cover these events. Next time, I'm going to take you along and tag, <laughs> tag you along with me. Now, I actually like this, um, this next one. This, we got so many shares of this video, but Eric has the winning uh, comment. <laughs> he says that this video reminds him of his siblings after hearing their mom pull up in the driveway. Yep, that's exactly how it goes. I had two sisters like, growing up. It's like, mom, go, everyone yeah. run, clean up everything you can. That is hilarious. Best of response goes to Eric, for sure. Best response, and that's all the Trends and Talkers, I guess. Jason, thanks so much for the Trends and Talkers. Love the segment. We're going to do it all again next Friday. Don't worry about that. Got to take a quick break, though. We'll be right back.